Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bates here. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you all about block graphs. What are they? Why are they so blocky? And what information can we get from them? Now, hold tight, because at the end of this video, there's gonna be a chance for you to try out these things we've learned today at home or at school. So don't go anywhere. Right, let's get started with a little bit of mass. Follow me. So what is a block graph? Well, a block graph is a chart. It is a simple chart that shows us information. It shows us data in a way that's really straightforward and easy to understand. They're a really common method in maths and you'll see quite a lot of these in your tests or exams showing you data that's been collected. They have two main axes, which means lines that show on the side. The top one, kind of going up and down vertically is the y-axis, and the one that goes across is the x-axis. The way that I remember them is the y is long and thin, and it goes up and down, okay, it's got a long tail on it, and the x-axis goes across, it's like strong and x, it's wide. That's the way I remember it anyway. I'm gonna show you a block graph now to give you a bit of a better understanding. Here you go. So here is an example of a block graph. Nice and straightforward, really colorful, really. It's got loads of colors on it. As you can see at the top, it has a title. Really important with block graphs, so they have to have a title telling you what the information is all about. These ones, number of tigers from 2001 to 2010. It's always good to know about those tigers. We've got the y-axis that goes up and down, x-axis that goes across. And on this one, the y-axis is saying the number of tigers and the x-axis the title of that axis is saying the years. As you can see, the increments, or how much it's going up on on the side, is going up from 20, 22, 24, 26. It's going up in twos. Doesn't always go up in ones, okay? It can go up in twos. Sometimes it can go up in fives or tens. So be really careful when looking at bar charts. It's also nicely color coordinated. It's got some lovely colors in there to, again, make it nice and clear for us to understand which has the most and which has the least. And we can see on the chart on the left-hand side there that 2001 had mm, 34, well, it's just more than 34, isn't it? Looking at that orange bar, 34. It's going to be 35 tigers that year. We can see there because it's in between 34 and 36. It means it must be 35 because it's going up in twos. Okay, so we read it by looking up and across kind of going up the page and across to be able to see exactly how many uh, data is in each of those blocks. Fantastic, right, I've got a little challenge for you at home now. I would like you to create your very own block graph. Now, I've done a title for you here. This says, uh, how many times can you write your name in one minute? Bit of a challenge for you. Um, and I've also done the Y and the X axis. I've numbered them up there for you too. Um, what I haven't done though, uh-oh, I haven't labeled the axis. So I'd like you to label them up at home and obviously complete the graph itself. Now you're gonna need a timer, somebody to time you. Um, and whether you're doing this at home on your own or whether you're doing this in your class with your classmates, uh, feel free to label up this graph in the correct way. Um, make sure you uh, fill in the block parts and also use a colouring pen to colour in the sections to make sure they're nice and clear. Also, please don't forget, use a ruler. You can't do a block graph without using a ruler. So please make sure you use one. Fantastic. Over to you. Enjoy. And I can't wait to see your results. Give yourself a big marshmallow clap. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked stuff. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that today, and I hope you understand now what a block graph consists of. Hey, don't forget, if you want some more information on Mr. Bates Creates, do pop over to our website, www.mrbatescreates.com. And don't forget, click that subscribe button so you get notifications the next time I upload a lesson. That's all we've got time for for today, but I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.